Hey guys, CL Mignot with uh, part 4 of uh, Let's Play Mega Man X. And uh, there are a couple upgrades I need to miss, or I missed, so I need to go get them. So I'll just cut to uh, grabbing those upgrades so you guys don't have to sit and watch through all of it. Alright, so here we are. Um, we just got done with the ride armor in Chill Penguin's level. And if you jump back over on top of here, you see these blue things that I believe spawn enemies if you see here, yeah. So if you have fire, you can blow them up. And so what you need to do is blow up this one and you get a heart tank. Alright, so that's, um, I think there's only one other heart tank to get. So uh, I'll see you guys at the next upgrade. Alright, so here we are in a Spark Mandrel stage. If uh, you just go right from uh, right where you spawn um, and stay on the lowest floor, you'll come to this sub tank. And you need to grab this one with the boomerangs if I can get it. Oh, I'm facing the wrong direction there. There we go. And sub tank! So, just uh, one more heart tank to get, and then we gotta go get the special upgrade. So, I'll see you guys in the next heart tank. Alright, so here we are in uh, Boomer Kawanger's level. And uh, you'll remember I talked about this when we were here the first time, that you need to come back with his ability to get this. And you just gotta line up the boomerang, and BAM! Last heart tank! So, I need to go do some grinding for some stuff before we get to the next... Uh, upgrade so I will see you guys when I am about there hey guys um so I'm back and uh, we're in armored armadillo stage and uh, I never knew as a kid and I still don't know exactly what's needed for this all I know is you need to have all the sub tanks you need to have all the heart tanks and when I was a kid I always believed you had to have full lives although I don't think that's necessarily true and your sub tanks full again I don't know if that's true I just thought it was so I did it now I did have full lives but I, then I fell in spikes so what you need to do is ride this wheelie cart again, and uh, make sure there's no birds in your way, because they can screw this up royally, and I may have just screwed it up royally. Oh, there we go, jump up here, nothing. So if there's nothing up there, you jump off the edge. That's right, you die. That's how it works. So we gotta do that a couple of times, basically, until something appears up there. And I said it was an upgrade earlier, so basically it's until like Hapsul appears up there, we just keep jumping off the edge when we get to that point. And assuming I didn't mess it up, eventually it will appear there. So, that'll be exciting. As you can see, you can kill those teams without fire if you really need to. I just like fire because it kills them in like two seconds. Hey, I got one up off that dude. Now I'm set in case I fail like eight more times at getting it to show up. Hey, birdies. Get out of my way. Nothing up there again. Jump off. Whee! I'm more doing this than any, any other part in the game. Probably the rest of the game put together. And kill this dude again! Oh, shoot him faster! He's so fast, I'm gonna kill him more! Oh, no! See how I wouldn't have made it that time, just barely. Those are the spikes I fell in when I died. Run some dudes over. Ah, bats! Hit me in the face. Birdies. Birdies, birdies, birdies. And we got nothing off the edge. It's so weird. Sometimes you'll get it like the first time you get here. Sometimes it takes like four deaths. Sometimes it takes like six deaths. That's why I always recommend getting full lives. And the really funky looking bat at the beginning of this level really uh, is good for that. Um, I said it when I was doing this level originally that I thought he was. Yeah, he either drops lives or nothing, but seems to have the same chance to drop something as any other enemy. So basically, like... I would guess probably 80% of the times I killed him, he dropped a life for me. So it only took like two minutes to get full lives from him. So that's that's the way I do it. That's how I roll. Now we shoot some more birds, shoot some birds, trying to get them out of my way. Because they're all in my way and I don't want to run into them when I'm jumping up this wall today. Nothing. Off the edge. It's exciting, right? I hate this dude. I hate this dude that I have to kill him every time. Let me start after him. Fire, fire, fire. See, 
So dead. I don't even did he even he didn't even get to the rocks. And that's how I died the time before. When I said I fell on the spikes, that's how I did. Now that'll be the time it would have worked, so I'll have to re record all this and have to go back and get some lives and man. I'm gonna speed this part up. I this is taking way longer than I thought it would. So be prepared to hear hilarity ensuing at this part, I guess. Because four minutes is kind of ridiculous for this. I thought it would take like two. But I guess I was wrong. I guess I was wrong. There it is. All right. So I'll give to you a special present. Now enter the capsule, please. So, jump in the capsule. And what could it possibly be? It makes my fists glow, but it doesn't change how I look. And now I can shoot the Hadoukens at people if I can remember how to do it. So, it's basically how you would do it in uh, Street Fighter anyway, which is down away, or er, away down towards, and then fire. Oh no, it's just down towards. Down towards does it. I thought you had to go all the way around. Do a half circle. I guess you don't. But uh, anyway, the Hadoken kills anything in the game in a hit. Period. Bosses kills in a hit. Enemies kills in a hit. Everything. That being said, I'm not going to use it on bosses more than likely. Um, I will still use their weaknesses on them, but um, I might possibly throw a Hadoken in here and there on some enemies. But for the most part, I'm going to try to avoid using it because it's ridiculous. I just wanted to get it because I mean, you got to. So we gotta go to the first Sigma stage. Let's split up. I'll go in first, and then you can slip in while I keep the main defense force busy. Now we'll see how that goes. Hey, <laughs> see, dead turtle loot. I'm kind of that dude. I think I don't think I can do it in the air. I like they're very difficult anyway, but I like to do it because I kill them in a hit. <laughs> oh yeah, you also have to have full health to do it. Yeah, you gotta be on the ground. But yeah, you have to have full health to do it anyway. So, stupid crate things, crate copters. Oh goodness, they're back! It makes it um, a lot of people tr use it on the final boss because it makes him way easy. Um, but it's pretty hard because if you get hit, you just kind of get screwed. So now we get to deal with crate brains and plat moving platforms over large precipice. No! Ah, dash jump didn't work! And by dash jump didn't work, I mean I didn't work at dash jumping. Because obviously the dash jump would have worked, but I failed. I don't even care. It's tornado time. Tornado time. Tornado time. Tornado time. And for this part... I am going to Chameleon Sting charge this entire part, hopefully. Chameleon Sting, when you charge it, um, ooh, ooh, it makes you, I guess, supposed to be camouflaged, but it makes you invulnerable to everything as well. Come on, dash. I'm just, I just can't dash jump off these things today, apparently. Ooh. Okay, we should be good now. All right, we got crazy directional turrets and the big blue big blue dudes I ought to just use all my weapons on these dudes because I really don't need them for the rest of this level big blue dude oh, I didn't kill him fast enough ladder climb walker dudes walker dudes oh that looks like a boss oh it's vile and it's zero Zero, nice job distracting the defenses. Stay back, Eggs, I'll take him on. Okay. Sounds like a plan. And by that I mean I'm coming in right after you. I don't care. I don't care. I think this is where you hear the large explosions and things, because I can't hear them. So we gotta come in here. And X. Do what I tell you or he's history. Don't listen to him, X. Go ahead and blast him. Dream on, Zero. X knows he can't defeat me. 
My armored carrier is more than a match for his ancient weapons. Okay, don't punch me. Damn it. So basically, this is just like the first fight. You notice he has you no know, health bar. Um, you just have to get beat up until he decides to stun you. Come on. I hate you, Vile. I hate you. You're a jerk. Stop it. Stop it. Do more damage. I'm sick of running into you. Do more damage. I have too much health. It takes like five minutes. Why don't you just like come dashing and punching from off screen? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's ridiculous. There we go. Oh no, my ancient weapons were no match for his armored carrier. I did a ton. <laughs> I'm glad he walks me over and drops me off and then walks back. And zero bust out. Maybe, but I'm not through yet. And then he starts charging up, and you're like, No, Zero, don't do it! And then Zero's like, I'm exploding, man! And you're like, No! And then Vile doesn't have an armored carrier anymore. What a worthless gesture. I can't be defeated so easily. So, X, it's just you and me now. I wanna. I thought you could actually do enough damage to him that he would paralyze you without having to lose all your health, but I guess you get it all back anyway, so maybe that's what I was thinking of. What the? Where did that energy come from? It really doesn't matter how much energy you absorb, X. You are still far too weak. Prepare to be terminated. So, in the PSP version, you can actually unlock Vile as a playable character. So, that's fun, right? Missiles! Oh my goodness! Missiles kick his butt! Ah, stunned and bombed missiles. I had no idea missiles were so crazy. Uh, missiles. Missiles. <coughs> He's dead. Victory is mine! Oh no, Zero! What happened? Oops. That's not the right voice. X, I've taken too much damage. Auto repair systems can't handle it. My power is fading. Auto repairs? I don't have auto repair systems. Your power is greater than I thought. It's a lot, jerk. Remember, you can destroy Sigma. So what? He didn't expect me to be able to destroy Sigma before? And he gives you the pink beam right there if you don't already have it. He didn't expect me to be able to destroy Sigma before? What a jerk. I hate you, Zero. I hope you have fun being dead. Boinga, 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 boinga. Oops, I was immune the whole time. So this is where dash jumping off walls comes in handy in this game. Doink. Because it makes it a lot easier than just trying to make normal jumps through this entire part. Oh look, I made it to the top. I'm a sneaky one. And oh no, it's Boomer Kawanger. Oh no, he kicked my butt last time. This isn't cool. Oh, I hate you! I didn't think this was his weakness. I thought it was sh shields. It is definitely not shields. It's boomerang. Or, I thought this was Stink Chameleon's weakness. Sh no, shields is the octopus's weakness. And I thought missiles are Stink Chameleon's weakness. Or was Cutter Stink Chameleon's weakness? I think it was Cutter, actually. Metal man, die! Metal, die! Ooh, I almost got hit by that. I almost dodged into it. Ah! Spark Willy Dudes! Metal man. Spark Willy Dudes. Oh no, goodness! Ah! So much health, I'm so glad. <laughs> so, in case you didn't get it, I'm gonna have to fight, refight all the bosses. In the various Sigma levels. And that was just the first one, Boomer Coinger. He'd be a pretty brutal boss to fight first. So now we fight the first Sigma stage specific. Well, I guess Vile was too. It's Mr. Spider Man! He comes down on those stupid pipes and then you shoot him in the face with ice. I could kill him in one hit with a Hadoken, but I already said I ain't doing that. So obviously you can predict which way he's going to go with those pipes. 
not very effectively unless you're a quick thinker, but you can usually tell uh, where uh, he's not going to be. Because uh, every time he hits one of those pipes, he changes, he goes across it to whatever area it leads to. Stupid spider wings kicking my butt. Oh, goodness. Oh, just bounce. They're everywhere. I hate you. Goodness. I'm going to have to use a stupid sub tank on this dude. At least I should kill him decently. As a kid, this was the worst boss. Like, the worst boss. The worst boss. So unbeatable. So now you can see how... I guess I showed you how sub tank worked before. Too bad they don't heal me fully, but you know. Whatevs. Gosh darn it. I hate this gate, dude. Gah! Every time. Every time. No, I'm staying on this side this time. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Spiderlings, no! <sighs> He's only got two left. I can get him with this next time he comes down. Oh, no. Spider-Man. He's not Spider-Man. No more spider rep. Why would you make that? What would, would be the point of making a giant spider that goes down fake webs that spawn and then spawns spiderlings and attacks people? Anyway, that's it for part four. Um, part five will take on the next Sigma stage. So thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you next time!